Okay, so now we come to a very important part that is how do you apply. We have definitely applied the concepts of proportion in various problems. Let's take up a couple more of problems where you could possibly apply the concept of proportion. Let's see what we have here. So here we have a question, the sum of ages of three persons is 150 years currently. Ten years ago, their ages were in the ratio 7 is to 8 is to 9. What are their present ages right now? Now the ratio 10 years ago was given and what is given is the what are the ages right now. So we have to start from here and put it futuristically. So we need to take their ages 10 years ago. The ratio has been given as 7x, 8x and 9x. So 10 years ago it was this. And presently, obviously, their ages will be 7x plus 10, 8x plus 10. Because of 10 years ago, if the ratio was 7 is to 8 is to 9, now it's going to be 8x plus 10 and 9x plus 10. And as per condition, this sum is 150 years. So we need to add this with so 7x plus 8x, 15x plus 9x. And you have 24x plus 30 is 150. So you have 24 x is 150 minus 30, 120 and x is 120 upon 24 which is 5. So if it is 5 we need to find their current ages. So the current ages would be 7 x plus 10 that is 7 into 5 35 plus 10 45 8x plus 10, that is 8 into 5, 40 plus 10, 50. Then 9x plus 10, 9 into 5, 45 plus 10, 55. So the current ages are 45, 50 and 55. You can see that their sum is 150 and 10 years ago, if you look at it, they were 35, 40 and 45. And that ratio is accordingly 7 is to 8 is to 9. So now, hence our answer is 45, 50 and 55. Let's verify. Once again, let's do the exercise. And yes, it's 45, 50 and 55. Let's take up one more example in applications. Okay. Now here we have a case. Ratio of earnings of A and B is 4 is to 7. So we can take A's earnings as say 4x and B's earnings as 7x. If the earnings of A increases by 50%, so now after the increase, A's earning is going to be 50% more than this. That is 150 upon 100 into 4x, which turns out to be 1.5 into 4x. That is, you have 1.5 into 4x. So that is turning out to be 6x. And B decreases by 25%. So it is going to be 75% of 7x is what we get. This turns out to be 75% of 7x. So let's see what we have over there. So that is 75% of 7x is 5.25x. The new ratio of their earnings becomes 8 is to 7. So you have 6x upon 5.25x is 8 by 7. So this xx get cancelled and this information doesn't seem to be tally. So there is definitely some information missing over here. So it is not going to be a valid case. So 26, 28, 21,000 are not possible because information is insufficient. Hence, data is inadequate in this case because what they have told us after you increase this and after you decrease this, the ratio is 8 by 7. And the ratio that you obtain by calculation and what is given, they don't seem to be tallying. So either the data is inadequate or there is some major information that is seriously missing over here. So this is bound to be the right solution to this. So yes, it is inadequate.